Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Insane Vendetta here. I got something for y'all today. We talked a little while back about paintball lube and greases. Today we're going to go a little bit more in depth, and I'm going to show you a brand that I personally use that I really like. Um, now, I've used, one thing about me being a technician, I've used a lot of different lubes and greases that are out there as far as what paintball has to offer. Anything from Monkey Poo, uh, Pathogen Super Grease, DP Plus 40. And don't get me wrong, you can use a paintball lube and it do what you want it to do. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I know some people like to say this works better than everybody else's. Can't really say that because paintball, one thing about it is personal preference still is the majority of every, of all the answers you're going to get in any question that you ask. So what I can tell you is that over the past two years I've been using Lurker Lube and I've had some tremendously great results from it. It's been really good, works really well. I give you a few little things that I found that it works for me and then you can justify if you need to use it or justify if that gives you enough justification. What am I saying justify like one, two, three times? Anyways, I, it's it's been a long day. Anyway, so they give you justification if you want to try it or not. Let's say it like that. Now, when you're dealing with paintball lube, like I said, they all have general purpose. But one thing I found about Lurker Lube is, one, it will save you money. And I can tell you that for a fact. Um, this is what they call a tech size. This is Pathogen Super Grease. It is a large container of grease. If you go to go buy grease, generally they'll be in a larger size. Lurker does not make a larger size. They make just these little bitty, if I can fall out, drop it on the floor, they just make these little bitty tiny containers. Now, the reason why there's two different labels for is this one is new, this one's two years old. And like I said, it's the same container I've had for two years. Now one thing I do, like I said, is I'm a technician, I'm a sponsored, Dangerous Power sponsored technician. So I work on any Dangerous Power marker that comes across that has issues or has problems, I work on all of them, and they all leave working. Now, first off, we'll show you what the new grease fill size looks like. See? Pretty dang full. And I've serviced a lot of DP markers, by the way, a lot with this for two years. How much do you think I would have used? Now, there's a divot, don't get me wrong. But if you look at it, like I said, it's not a whole bunch that I've used. Because I promise you, you don't have to use a bunch of it. It's um, one thing about, like I said, is it saves you money. So you will be buying one container, and the container will, like I said, I'm a technician, so I work on anybody's marker that I come across, and anything that I use in it comes out of my pocket. So I will tell you this for a fact: Lurker Lube is amazing in how very little of it you have to use to get a marker running. So that's one thing I can tell you that's good about it. Number two. Um, it lasts a very long time. Uh, I was doing a test with a scenario in a, during a scenario game. I took uh, uh, took paintball lube and I, f I put it in the G5. And you know that what I told you all a while back about dump piles is that they're kind of like their two-edged sword. Is you have to be in them a little. They're super super simple, stupid to work on. But the problem is, is that you do have to lube them a little bit more. But they're easy to get inside of. Like I said, I can justify any dangerous power marker. As far as like, as far as how simple they are and how they work, the problem is you will be in a little bit, a little bit more often than you would any other brand. Is that a bad thing? No, because it takes about 15 seconds to get in it. Anybody that says it's a bad thing doesn't know what they're doing. Again, uh, I took a G5 during a scenario event and ran it until it started getting bolt stick. It lasted for about an hour and a half, and I had to go back to. To base and we relubed it and what I did is I uh, took all the old lube off and put lurker lube in it. It takes me generally about half an hour maybe a little bit less than that to go inside and out of a dangerous power marker and clean it thoroughly, degrease it and then relube it and put it back together. It doesn't take me long. Like I said I've been doing it a long while and when you when I put it back together I found out that I could stay on the field 30 minutes longer with a constant shot I mean, as far as like, you know how you play scenario games, y'all seen it, it sounds like Gatling guns. If anybody's been on the, if any, if y'all been out there, y'all know that it's just constant rate of fire, holding a base, holding a line. I found out I could be on the field 30 minutes longer. Uh, that's one thing about Lurker Lube you'll notice is that it lasts a lot longer. One thing about it, it is thicker than normal lube. It's also very, very slick, so you don't need a lot of it. And since it is a little bit thicker, you don't need a lot of it again. 
Now, one of the things I did find is that it does not it does not change due to temperature. Uh, you know that in I live in Louisiana. So our temperature can be 40 degrees in the morning and then 80 degrees in the afternoon. I mean, you're talking about that as a jump. Now, any other paintball lube, they can take that. So I'm not telling you this, the Lurker lube will do better than everybody else's. But I will tell you that it is one of the most consistent ones I've seen during temperature changes, temperature fluctuations. Because you know that your PSI pressure increases due to it being a little bit hotter. Especially if the tank is black or you have a black cover on it, it will get hotter. Uh, you definitely you know, increase the air pressure in your tank, so it, you will need to change maybe your regulator. Normally you change your regulator a little bit, nothing else. Settings sometimes you'll have to change. Normally fine tune it just a little bit, not much. But Lurker Lube is consistent with its for, if it's 40 outside or if it's 110 outside. It does not matter. That's one thing I can tell you is an extremely consistent lubrication. So bottom line is I found that it saves me money. I found that it it's... Like I said, it is thick and very slick, so it's always going to be uh, anything you put it in, it'll last longer. And you don't need a lot of it. And number three is extremely consistent lubrication. So, bottom line is, is that's what I personally use, and I find it to have great results. Um, if you have a marker in the past that I've worked on, you'll notice that it's had it in it. Uh, especially like a dangerous power, like I said, I'm, I'm, take, I'm uh, certified to ser uh, service and work on those. And they, I mean, I promise you, that's been very, very impressive how it works. Now, before I run my mouth off, I'll show you just how much I, like, let's say this G5 belongs to, you know, like a newbie. Let's just say it like that. That's a nice way to put it. And he's getting ball stick issues, All right? So I'm going to do the usual, take out the back, and then we're going to take the bolt out. We're going to service it. Probably need to do a Guinness Pro World Record speed bolt removal because like I said it ain't hard at all to service a G5. Anybody that cannot service a G5 has issues or even a G series marker because they're just a simple stupid to work on. Anyways let's go ahead and wipe all the old lube off of it. One thing like I said about it you have to rub it in there quite a bit because it'll still be it'll still be on it. Marker lube is very very notorious about not wanting to come off. All right, so, and it's 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 pretty degreased. I mean, I don't need to soak it to change it, but make degrees more off of it. But this will work. So, uh, they make two. By the way, they make a juiced and they make the regular lurker lube. Uh, they used to make a swole, but I uh, don't have that. I don't need it. I thought I need the juice for some of the spool valves, but. Uh, I found that I can use the regular Lurker Lube just fine, so I don't use that any. So I don't use it. Um, if I had spoolies for myself, I probably would, but I don't. I just had DP markers. Um, once again, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you an example about how much I would use from somebody's marker, and that's it. And normally, how I apply it, I'll just like take my finger and stroke over top. And I'll use these three fingers and I'll just rub it in. Just like that. And that's all you need. You don't need a lot of this stuff. And like I said, I have to pay for all the lube that I use. It comes straight out of my pocket. So I wanted to, I've tried many different lube, uh, paintball lubes out there to try to save me money. Uh, you know, you're like, oh, it's just a few cents or just, eh, it doesn't seem like that much until you have four or five guys with or an entire paintball team with dangerous power markers and they come to you and they're like hey uh, can you help us with our markers before our next tournament and then you realize just how much lube you'll need you need a lot of it but with the lurker you do not so I can I can justify purchasing it anybody using it it's been real good stuff can I say it's the best stuff out there yes I can for what I do with it it's the best that I can use it's the best that works for me I can justify anybody else using it, um, and like I said, I get great results out of it. But is it if you're using stuff and it works for you, that's great. Uh, but if you're wanting to try new things, definitely I recommend Lurker Lube. And that's it. That's how I would lube the bolt. I always like doing this, by the way. This has been like it's like a putting a shell in a gun. <laughs> it just humors me. Why not have a little humor in a video, right? These are almost a toolless 
back cap because I can pretty much tighten it by hand. Okay. See? Uh, one thing about the back caps is uh, there are two O-rings, so as long as you get it on there tight, you'll be good because it will seal. These are not like the older ones. But that's it. So bottom line for this video is that I've been using Lurker for two years. Uh, three points again. Like I said, it saves me money. And it'll save you money if you use it. It will. Um, it is extremely consistent. As far as it does not change due to temperature, due to anything around it. So it would be the same as it is at 40 degrees. It is, it is at 110. And next, it is extremely thick and extremely slick. Uh, you don't need a lot of it. And those all three definitely are pluses in in, in my book. But that's all I got for y'all today. If you want to try it, definitely go get go get you a to, uh, go get you a container of it. It's some great stuff. This is Insane Vendetta. Adios.